Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Brave Browser, version 1.81 that has rolled out. And this is quite an important update. And you will see why as we get through the video. Now to double check, we have this latest release. We head to our main menu, help about Brave. Latest version in build 1.81.131. And the Chromium platform has been bumped up to the latest version 139.0.0. 7258.66 and that Chromium update will also include the security fixes for this week that have rolled out. So just a quick recap, there were 12 security fixes rolling out and thankfully there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild, there are no critical and there's even no high severity, just mediums and lows so quite a minor security patch for this week. So 12 security fixes in total for the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. Now, as always with the version upgrades for Brave, Brave has pumped a lot of fixes and improvements and add-ons into the wallet, the Web3. That's the cryptocurrency side of things. So there's quite a few improvements regarding that. And then for Brave Leo, which is the AI chatbot, there are quite a lot of improvements that have also rolled out just to go through some of these. First of all, Brave says it's added support for temporary chat in Brave Leo. They've also added support for multiple tab contexts in a single conversation in Brave Leo. And then they've added a context menu option for Leo in the toolbar to set Leo to open in the sidebar or a new tab. So if we right click on the little icon yet to the top right of the toolbar, we can see Open Leo AR in the sidebar, open Leo AR in a new tab, and I think that is a nice touch. And they've updated the hamburger menu item from Leo to Leo AR. So if we head to the main menu, we can see that used to be Leo, it's now called Leo AR. So a couple of user interface tweaks there. And then Leo also gets two bug fixes that are taking place under the hood. Now, when it comes to the general improvements and updates, this is the important side of things. Because first of all, and I posted on this a couple of days ago, Brave has now added the ability to disable Windows Recall for all Brave Windows. I'll leave the video I posted on this link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And Brave's reasoning behind this is it says... It says, and I'm quoting, Recall is antithetical to Brave's goals as a privacy-first browser, and as such, we should disable Recall's ability to capture what the user does on Brave. And I think that's a very nice move. Check the video out for more info. So to get to the setting, we head once again back into our settings from the main menu. Head over to Privacy and Security, and if you scroll down on this page, you will see a setting block microsoft recall which is on by default you can turn this off if you so wish block the recall feature on microsoft windows computers from automatically taking screenshots of any open brave tabs and i think that's a very nice move in the right direction and the second reason why this is an important update is brave has made a lot of improvements regarding the deprecation of mv2 extensions which google now is pushing out with chrome version 139 so for this, if we head into our extensions page, you will now see Brave has added a Brave hosted label for MV2 extensions hosted on Brave's servers. It says the following manifest V2 extensions will be removed from the Chrome Web Store, but are still supported in Brave. Toggle to download and install or to uninstall. So if we click on that, it opens up the page and Brave says it's updated the allow list for Brave hosted MV2 extensions to keep them from being disabled when MV2 flags are disabled, removed. And now you've got enable no script, enable uBlock origin, enable uMatrix, enable add guard. And I actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction, which is an indication. And as I've posted previously, that Brave is not going to end support for uBlock origin as an example with that deprecation now of MV2 extensions. And they've also updated the warning text for Brave. 
on this page, which previously, according to Brave, used to say, Brave does not review or verify the content, security, or behavior of these Manifest V2 extensions. It now says, Brave hosts these Manifest V2 extensions on Brave servers, but does not review or verify their content, security, or behavior. Please see each extension's official page for help. Read Brave's plans for Manifest V2. Yeah, so if we click on that, yeah, it says, update as of version 1.81, which we are featuring now. We host the following Manifest V2 MV2 extensions on Brave's back end. So that's on their servers. The four extensions that we've mentioned on that page, these extensions operate independently from the equivalent versions that are currently present on the Chrome Web Store and have to be downloaded separately. Users can download and enable these four extensions from the Brave Settings Extensions V2 page, which, as mentioned, is this page, if you enable those extensions. It carries on to say, when Google removes MV2 extensions from the Chrome Web Store, they will be disabled for Brave users as well, except for these four supported extensions, this is to prevent users from using out-of-date extensions which might have serious security ramifications, as mentioned in the blog. So even though Google is removing these four extensions, one of which is the popular ad blocker, uBlock Origin, these will still be available on Brave's servers and be kept up to date. So I think that's a very nice move from Brave. And then they've also removed not found on Web Store warning for Brave hosted extensions. So quite a lot going on with extensions and also that recall feature. I think those are two very nice improvements, which are a major improvement for the browser. And then the last one just to mention for this video, it's a security fix for an inactive split view tab. If you are using split view, the inactive tab, there's a fix that's taking place under the hood. And there's a couple of other under the hood changes, but those are the main ones. And that's what's new with this latest version, 1.81, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.